we on Charlie? It's yep. not. Okay, what we got here, we went ahead and uh, welded that up. It's all done. Now, of course, we're not going to fucking get all fancy with it, okay? Do you see what I'm saying, Charlie? I'm not going to yep. fucking, you know, prime it, bondo it, and all that. But what we are going to do, we don't want to leave bare metal showing, because what will happen, Charlie? I'll start rusting out. It'll start rusting out. So what we're going to do, okay... We're trying to save the guy money, see? We're trying to save him some money. Do you see what I'm saying, Charlie? Yep. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take some old paint that I had laying around. And I'm going to take a throwaway brush. If I can get that. Damn, I never had. There we go. Damn, that son bitch was stuck on there, Charlie. <laughs> I'm going to take a throwaway brush, and what I'm going to do. I'm gonna brush some white paint on here. Welcome to DIY Automotive School with my friend Pete and Minnie, the body shop girl. It's everything you need to know about cars and more. I'm trying to be a little professional now. You know, he didn't pay me to do this. He didn't pay me to paint it. Okay, but my friend Pete's gonna do a little bit of paint. Is the paint gonna match perfect? Probably yeah, fucking not. <laughs> but inside the door jam on a 1987 fucking Dodge, who cares? So we're gonna take some paint. We're just gonna brush it on there. It might take a couple coats. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. But at least it'll be painted, bud. See there? I might as well go ahead and get all this while we're at it for him. And then, of course, right here where we had the, remember that, the ground? Yeah. Okay. Might as well like to make it look pretty. Go ahead and paint the dirt. Right? Yeah. Kind of blend it in, see? There, you can't even tell hardly. Now, if I didn't have this paint, what I would have done, I would have went and bought me some. Spray paint, okay? I would have went and got me some cream white spray paint. I would have taped it off and painted it. But there you go. That's that's our fixed door, okay? And it actually came out pretty nice, Charlie. Yep. I had to go ahead and make a little piece to fit behind here. Okay, I made that out of sheet metal. If I could find that other piece, where the fuck did I throw it, Charlie? Uh. Yeah, fuck it. I threw it in the trash. Okay, I had to make a piece, but, uh, you know, we got her done. That's the situation, is it is done, okay? And like I said, we got our throwaway brush, our, you know, 49-cent throwaway brush, and that's exactly what we're going to do with it. <laughs> Throw it away, Charlie. Okay, now that the door is done, we've got the door fixed, what we're going to do next, we're going to go ahead and change, give me the hinge pins. Where the fuck did they go, Charlie? Where's our fucking hinge pins at? Okay. What we're going to do next, we're going to go ahead and change our hinge pins out. Okay, that's very important. And uh, if Charlie could go ahead and look at the situation we got, maybe you can go get the tools we need, sir. Okay, we're going to need a chisel, a hammer. You see what I'm saying? We're going to need all the tools. What we got to do, we got to take the hinges out, okay, and we're going to go ahead and replace them with brand new ones. That's the next step on our job, uh, fixing our fucked up door. Or whatever the fuck this title of this video is, okay? That's how we do it, alright? This is Pete, my friend Pete, your friend Pete. We can't even see it. There you go, right there it is. Okay? And uh, it's an easy fix, okay? Let's get the hinges out next and let's see how that's done. Then we wire it back up, put the door back together. Voila, we go home and have a great fucking day. Hopefully. I don't know about that brush on paint, but I think it'll work. All right, we saw how the door was fixed. Now what we gotta do is we gotta fix the door jam. Okay, Charlie? 
Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. And to fix the door jam, what we're going to do, okay, this is the bad hinge. Look at here. Can you see that? Are you zooming in on that? Are you looking down here? Bring the camera down here, Charlie, or do something. Hey, look what we got here. Yeah. Okay. Let's hope the bushings will even go back in there. That's pretty worn out. Now, this hinge here is pretty good, see? Okay, but we're still going to go ahead and replace all the hinge pins. So what we got to do is we got to knock that cocksucker out of there, okay? Always wear your safety glasses. I'm up here, Charlie. Okay. Always wear your safety glasses. Yours aren't on, Charlie. Yours aren't on. Okay. We're going to go ahead and knock these out. If you can see right there, the knurl, that's called a knurl, see? You see what I'm saying? Once you get that knurl, okay, then you can take a pair of pliers or what have you, and it should come right out. Okay, that's what holds your hinge in. The hinge pins in with a solid mount. Now the motherfucker's filthy dirty and it ain't coming out easy. But that's good for us because that means it's going to be a tight fit. So if you look at the edge of that right there, you can see that's got a knurl on it, okay? Uh -huh. That bites down in the metal, all right? Always remember to take your hands just like that. I'm down here, Charlie. Okay? And place it up here so we know how it goes back on. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to pop out these old bushings. And we're just going to take a chisel like this. And the top ones usually don't need replaced, but since we have the door part, we're going to go ahead and replace it. Okay? And then we're going to get the bottom one here. Same way. See there? Okay. And I guarantee you when we take that bottom hinge off, fucking hinge pin is so fucking worn out. Okay, let me get a pair of vice grips on that one. What we'll do is we'll take our vice grips. And the reason we're going to use vice grips is why, Charlie? Uh, grips it? No. Right. Okay, just because it's called vice grips, that ain't why we're using them. The reason we're using vice grips is because we can clamp onto that and we can actually hit it away, see? That way we got a way to hit it. Do you see what I'm saying? So your vice grips are handy tools when you need them. All right? In more than one way, bud. Do you see that? So this pin we're not going to use, but we will throw it right there with the stock. We get our other hinge off very carefully. And I just noticed, well, look what I just found, Charlie. That just fell out of there. Yeah. All right, this is what's left of the top hinge bushing. Yeah. Okay, junk. Okay. We're going to lay that down easily, just like that. And before we do anything, we want to go ahead and set our bushings. Okay. You see there? That's our bushing. We want to go ahead and set those in place. And we're, this is what's going to tell us. These should be oversized bushings, okay? And that's all it takes, just a little bit of a tap. But these aftermarket bushings are usually oversized. Okay. There's that. Now we take our hinge, we put it back on, just like that. Where's our pin at? Take our brand new pin, go ahead and set it in there easily. We go ahead and tap it easy. Everything to line up and then give it a good smack and uh, our hinge is in place but you see what I'm saying yeah now we got to get that open because we got to get the door back on it Go ahead and open it up like that okay so now if you notice our hinge is nice and solid Charlie yeah. okay we're gonna go ahead and repeat our process up here on the top hinge even though they didn't need that on the top okay top hinge was actually in pretty good shape. But there's no sense cheap skating it, okay? There's no sense 
you know, doing a shitty job when you got the parts to replace and it's right there in the open. I mean, it, it's ridiculous if you didn't. There you go. Done. Okay, we, what we've done, we went ahead and fixed our door. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. We went ahead and replaced our hinge pins, okay? And for everybody out there that doesn't, that's getting in on this now, this is literally a video about replacing our hinge pins. If you want to see what we did to the door over here, Charlie, okay? Go back to that video, okay? How to repair your broken, busted hinge or whatever the hell the name of the video is. Okay, it all coincides with this video set, and you'll know how to do that. But uh, you saw that that's a simple situation. Now, you can replace these hinges. You don't have to take the door off to do it. You can actually leave your door hooked up and all your wires hooked up and just knock the hinge pins out and have your buddy or your wife maybe or your kid, okay, somebody hold the door on a jack stand, if you look right there. They can hold the door out on a jack stand while you replace all that. And then just slide the door back in, bolt it together, you're done. That's usually how I fix, that's usually how I replace the hinge pins. I, I don't necessarily take the whole door off the car, okay, uh, but it was a mandatory situation that we do take them off this car, am I right, Charlie? Yeah. To fix the bad hinge. Let me get the door hung back on it. Uh, we still got to adjust our door latch. This door latch is actually worn out. There's a, a bushing that's actually around this right here that's missing. I've already told the owner about it. So I don't know what he wants to do. That's not my business. But the door's fixed. The hinges are fixed. It's time to hang the door back on the car and get her done. All right, Charlie. It looks like we got it. Go ahead and look inside there. All right. I'm lifting the door up. It looks like the whole truck's moving, bud. Yeah. Let's see what it does when we shut it. Can you stand back? There you go. Now, it does have a little bit of play in it, but that's due to the fact that maybe the latch is worn out. We got our striker that's, look, at, look how worn out that is. Yeah. Okay, we got rubber missing right here. Do you see that? Yeah. Follow my hand, Charlie, up and down, look. Okay, look at the rubber down here. Come on up here, see? Okay, so that could be numerous things that could be wrong. This is an 87, but... The door closes. What, you want to see me do it again, sir? Yeah. Okay, watch. Okay. It closes, it latches, it's done. That's the situation we have. That's the solution that we found. Okay. And that's all that I can tell you. It's over. It's a done deal. Thank you, Charlie. You're a great camera guy on this little right. episode. And you got the camera zoomed out. Okay. Can you go ahead and park that baby over here, please? Okay. Get the keys, put it over there. I don't know where you did the keys. Let's get okay, it moved. One more job down, one more job done, one more job that my friend Pete showed you how to do at home. Easy, simple, and fun. All it takes is a welder, a grinder, a cutting wheel, and uh, enough sense to say, get the fuck off my ass. Let me go outside and do something instead of be a lazy motherfucker that I am. There you go. Looking good. 87 Dodge Ram Charger. Done. Thanks for watching DIY. Automotive school. Classes don't stop till you know everything.